tonight, we send our heartfelt thoughts to everybody in Britain. Stay safe. Celebrities send their thoughts and prayers to London after the deadly terrorist attack. But fans are not happy how Nicki Minaj reacted to the news. Yesterday, five innocent people were killed in a terrorist attack near the British Parliament in London. A car drove into several pedestrians on the Westminster Bridge, and then a man got out of the car and stabbed a police officer while trying to enter Parliament. Thankfully, the attacker was shot and killed by police. After word spread about the incident, many celebrities shared their thoughts and prayers on Twitter. Niall Horan tweeted, thinking of London this morning from L. LA. Stay safe, everyone. Katy Perry sent her love for the UK via emojis, and singer Haley Steinfeld shared a similar post, writing, My heart is with you, London. But when Nicki Minaj shared her condolences, fans criticized her for not speaking out about the Pulse nightclub shooting in Orlando. Nicki tweeted, May God protect everyone in London. Hate hearing this sad news, sending my condolences to the victim's families. One fan responded to the rapper, writing, Another tragedy she mentions. Didn't say a single word about the Pulse nightclub in Orlando. She don't give a about gays. Hashtag take the stairs. While Nikki was questioned about her well wishes, British late night host James Corden's message was received much differently. When something like that happens uh, in your hometown, you don't have a feeling of being glad that you're so far away. What you feel is that you wish you could be there with loved ones to to stand alongside them. If this act of terrorism was supposed to divide the people of London, I know for a fact that all something like this does is bring them closer together. Viewers praised James for addressing the terrorist attack that hit so close to home for him. Tell us below your thoughts on Nikki getting slammed for her heartfelt post, and what did you think about James Corden's hopeful speech? After telling us your opinion down below, you can check out how Kim Kardashian is dealing with the aftermath of her Paris robbery right here. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Ryland Adams, and I will see you soon.